Hi everyone, welcome to of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 7 American Light Tank. The M41 Walker Bulldog being driven today by Trolls, a 69er from Pyro Clan. And in this matchup, it's a Tier 9 battle. So he needs to be a little bit respectful of those Tier 9 tanks, but he's on the Siegfried line and encounter. And looks like he's going out wide to start with. And trying to get some spots on those enemy tanks. And this replay is from patch 9.16, so that might look a little bit different to my normal replays, but you can see there he has spotted a number of those enemy tanks on the western flank of this map. Of course, the M41 Walker Bulldog has a 10-shot autoloader doing, on average, 150 damage per shot with 175 penetration. And that 10-shot autoloader is absolutely fantastic. You can start clipping out enemy tanks. Puts a, puts a shot into the T-10, the top-tier Russian heavy tank on the enemy side. As that Comet that was in the same area as Trolza gets taken out of the game. Now, because this is from patch 916 in the replays, it doesn't show the... Um, damage and stuff on the bottom left side of the screen so I've got a bot that does that on the top right hand side of the screen. Trolls are doing a good job keeping those tanks lit up for all these other tanks that are sitting back doing the sniping and he just picked up the spotting damage on I reckon the whole health of that T25 too as well as that Type 64 which is the last tank left in that area that can that can really spot him. He's taking a reload here because he's just decided he's going to just kick back here and just keep spotting these enemy tanks, which is the right thing to do when you're a bottom tier light tank, tier 7 light tank in a tier 9 game. You don't want to get too aggressive too early. As the T-34 takes out the Type 64, the tier 6 light tank on the enemy side, bringing the score back to 2-1. And he's waiting for that gun to reload, hoping to get some cheeky side shots into that T-34. Just waiting for that T-34 to back around there. And he's no longer lit, but why wouldn't you? When you've got 10 shots in your clip, why wouldn't you put a few blind shots in? There's that T-10 again. And the T-10 very kindly showing Trolls are his side. So Trolls is putting his APCR rounds into the side of the T-9 Russian heavy tank. They're not all penetrating, but... Over half of those shots are penetrating. So he puts the last shell in the general vicinity of the T9 Russian heavy tank and that makes him reload. He's already picked up 930 hit points of damage, which isn't a bad start. And the score's 2 to 1. He's taken that top tier heavy tank down to below half health. Now he's on 870 hit points. Looking at that AMX 1390, thinking, gee, that'd be a nice. Soft, juicy target for my American auto-loading gun, but it's just about reloaded now. And looks like that T-32 got tracked. The shot into the T-32 doesn't go through, but the shot of the VK does. It picks up the kill on the VK-4503. And I think that's the T-7 Premium German heavy tank. 5-2 is the score now. And a lot of that down to the spotting damage and the, and the damage that Trolls has done from this western flank. Trying to get some shots into that T-34 through that gap there, which is not always gonna, it's not always gonna happen. But picks up some spotting damage on the American premium tank and just misses out on the kill shot. Reckon if that last shell had to win a couple of inches lower, then it would have really done the job. Just picked up another 500 and something spotting damage on that T-10 as well. So it looks like the good vision of this American light tank is really coming into play, keeping those heavy tanks lit, even though he's reasonably far to the left of the minimap, he's still picking up some spotting damage, which is all important when you're a Tier 7 light tank in a Tier 9 game. 5-4 is the score, 1148 hit points of damage so far, plus a heap of spotting damage, another 500 spotting damage into that Centurion. Now it's 814. Not too bad at all. And you'll see at the end how much spotting damage he actually picks up in this game. 
Six fives the score. A couple of the tanks on Trolls' side have been taken out, including the top tier T10. And Trolls are just riding this ridge line, keeping these enemy tanks lit up for that T9 Waffentrager and the T34 sniping at the back like a pro. See on the minimap, the M103 is getting quite aggressive in the town near the flag. Probably looking for the kill shot on that T-34, which is down to 59 health, and also that VK-4503, which be which would be a nice, soft, juicy target for the T-9 American heavy tank. Drolza picks up another kill, taking out the T-34, the premium tank, the premium American heavy tank, and with the score on 8-6, to six, I reckon you're going to see a little bit of aggression from him soon. That LTTB is still out there, keeping him lit. Really like to see that Centurion get taken out. Puts a shot towards him. And get some spotting damage on him. Takes him down to 550. 157. Now one more shot will probably be enough if he can get it through that gap. Of course those gaps on those pillboxes can be pretty hard to thread the needle. Waffentrager does a job. Gets rid of the tier 8 British medium tank. And gets the lead back up 9 to 7 as the T-34 aggressively pushes on towards the LTTB and the 4503 snipes him from the middle. Now he's taken another reload here. Trolls a 69er from Pyro Clan and his M41 Walker Bulldog and he's going straight up towards A1. Does a little bit of a jump on the way and he's trying to look for whatever might be back here. Maybe the GW Tiger. That's the only tank that hasn't been lit in this game. Yeah, but you wouldn't imagine the GW Tiger would be at A1, but you never know. He's looking for that artillery, and he's found him. And it doesn't matter if a few of these shots don't go through, because he's got 10 bullets in the clip. 11 nines to score, as the GW Tiger gets taken out by the light tank. And now it's just a case of farming damage. He's got the side of that premium T7 German heavy tank. And it looks like there's a light tank right at the back here. The T71. No idea what kind of health he's on. But that's a, not really going to get much spotting damage back there, son. But it looks like he maybe he went back to try and defend the artillery from that AMX 1390. That was last spotted down in the south eastern side. And he's still got a few bullets in his clip. And he's thinking... That VK would be nice to farm a bit of damage on, but he's been lit. He's only got three shells left as the Waffentrager kills the VK4503. Trolls it takes another reload, and he's already done 2,272 hit points of damage, plus an absolute ton of spotting damage, as we'll see pretty soon on the post-game battle results. 12 nines the score. You'd like to think that it's going to be a pretty comfortable victory for Trolls and his team. As he's looking at that AMX, that M103, the top tier American heavy tank still on full health on the enemy side. Not sure how he managed to dodge a few shots. He gets a shot into the back of the hull by the looks of it on the M103. And that T95 is just plodding around in the city by the looks of things. Controls are using his light tank as a medium here. Wants to go in and flank some of these tanks. And Get nine shots of damage into some of these tanks. Looks like the T95's just fired and taken out the Jag Tiger 8.8, the premium tank. And the T34 seems to be struggling a bit getting damage into the T95. And the N103 is coming to help the T95. So trolls are doing the right thing here, using the M103 as a bit of a shield so that. T95 is going to have trouble shooting him, but he does cop a shot from the T95 and he continues to pump the damage into the back of the M103, but that's that's his auto-loading clip just about gone. The T71 coming into play now and he's waiting for this gun to reload. The T71 gets taken out, as does that other heavy tank that's there, so it's just Trollzer and the VK4503. The VK4503, of course, is only tier 7 as well, and they're up against a tier 9 M103. 
103 takes out the VK4503, but I think even he realises he might be in a little bit of trouble here. Puts a shot into him, and using the, using the dead tank to, for a bit of cover, but he'd be happy that the M103 just fired, because in the end, he carried the game 15 to 4 as we have a very quick look at the post game battle results. It was an ace tank of mastery badge for Trollzer in his M41 Walker Bulldog, one of the most popular tier 7 light tanks in the game. Bruiser, fire for effect, patrol duty for doing a heap of spotting damage. Looking at all those tanks that he spotted and put damage into on the second page. He absolutely carried that one. 3,903 hit points of damage. Three kills. 1,937 base experience. That's base experience without the daily double, without a premium. That's the bottom line base experience. So if that was a double, that would be nearly 4,000 for his double plus his premium allocation. 3,572 hit points of spotting damage. That's from that spotting that he did in the Western side of the map early on. He got all those spots on those enemy tanks that were out on the field. And a reasonably profitable match too. Just under 30,000 credits for the win in a standard account. And not a bad game at all from Trollza. 69 up from Pyro Clan. As we move on to the second game of this double shot of Tier 7 action featuring the M41 Walker Bulldog. It's another, it's a Tier 10 battle this time. And this time it's uh, from Plays for Fun from Empire Clan. And you'll be looking at this lineup thinking, what can I do here? There's quite a few tier 10 tanks on both sides, a couple of tier nines. And there's three lights on each side. So plays for funds going out to the south eastern part of the map, which is where mediums traditionally go on this map. There's no mediums on plays for funds side. So he needs to be a little bit careful. See who backs him up at the moment. It's just uh, AMX. Which AMX is it? The 1375, the tier 7. And so, plays for funds. Getting into spotting bush. And he's trying to get some damage into his counterpart, the M41 Walker Bulldog, on the enemy side. Of course, this replays from the current patch. So, the spotting damage and the damage done will be displayed at the bottom left side of the screen plays for fun. Still got eight shells left in his ten shell clip. Looking at the 1390. T49's been lit and he's hoping to put that auto loaded to work. He got he hit the T49 even though he was just out of view range he was still lit by the 1390. It looks like the Bulldog is on pretty low health. Looks like he hit him but he didn't actually do any damage but the ace of spades in his AMX 1390 picked up the kill clawing the scoreboard back one to two as plays for fun takes the reload tracks himself he should try and get a game with team efficiency if he's going to track himself like that when he goes over a few little ridge lines waits for the track to be fixed and heading back up to help that at 1390 and maybe the UDES put a bit of damage out towards the enemy tanks. Looking at the mini-map, it looks like the vast majority of the enemy tanks, including the mediums, who would normally go on the southeast part of the map, looks like they've all gone to where the heavies normally do their stuff in the northwest. As the artillery takes out the AMX 50B, which is a pretty handy tank to get rid of. And as a result, the enemy arty takes out the FE 215B. As plays for fun, zooms in on the AMX 1390. Doesn't quite get the first shot. Gets the second one though. Gets the third. And gets the fourth. Gets that 1390. He's down to 523 hit points now. Cops a shot from that 1390 again. And the 1390 on plays for fun side. Letting his teammates know that he's reloading by hitting the F8 key. Which is absolutely the right thing to do when you're in an auto loader. 4-4 four is the score. Looks like plays for fun side is in a little bit of trouble on the other side of the map. They're vastly outnumbered. Place for fun, just looking for some opportunities to put some damage into these enemy tanks. Auto aims on the AMX CD seeks, it doesn't matter where he hits him, he's going to penetrate it with these APCR rounds. And being well behind that bush, he's not even going to get lit when he 
sits back behind that bush and shoots in his light tank. Picked up 1,783 hit points of damage already. Cops a big... Cops a big one from the T49. But using this bush to maximise his camouflage value. And looking for a shot on that 1390, but looks like he's in a bit of a tricky position. 8-6 is the score. His gun's just about loaded, so he's going to... There's that AMX 1390 there. That's a very cheeky place to be, but shouldn't be too hard for plays for fun to put some damage into him from this side. 414 health he's on, and it shouldn't take too long to whittle that one down with this autoloader. Gets two shots into him. Looks like he's still not lit. Picks up the kill. Getting the lead again, because some of those tanks on the other side of the map got taken out. Artillery has just fired. So he knows he's got all the time in the world to get rid of the tier 8 American artillery piece. Making the lead 11 to 9 now. He's picked up two kills. 2,470 hit points of damage. And there's the tier 10. Tier 10 French. Tier 10 French artillery. And those four shells he's got should be enough. He did bounce a shot there. So he's going to pick up the kill with a bit of a ram. But takes himself down to 101 hit points. But if he had stayed and waited, that could have been a, a disaster. If he had taken one of those big French shells in the front of the Walker Bulldog at tier 7, he's going to be pretty hard to bounce at. He did bounce the STB-1 though in that little skirmish. Unfortunately, the... AMX 1390 wasn't so lucky and just got taken out by the tier 10 Japanese medium tank. He needs to be pretty careful here. He's only got 101 hit points of health. The UDES looks like the, the UDES is slowly moving forward. No idea how much health the tier 8 Swedish tank destroyer is on. But the advantage with plays for fun side is they've got two artilleries and they need to use them. Because that T49 it's quite possible that that T-49 could derp the UDs out of the game. It could certainly kill plays for fun with one well-placed shot or even a ram. But plays for fun's got a full clip loaded now. 2,960 hit points of damage plus a little bit of spotting. And he'll be hoping that those arties are looking in on the S wherever the STB-1 and the T-49 might be. Bit of a tense moment in this battle now. Just waiting for the enemy tanks to make the move. Of course, the enemy tanks do have a bit of an edge of, of speed. They're both pretty quick tanks. T-49 and the STB-1. And plays for fun in his Bulldog. Just playing a little bit conservatively there. Now we can see the Unis on 887 health. So pretty good chance the T-49 can't take him out of the game. As he rolls onto the cap circle, just trying to make something happen in this game. And is he going to try and cap this one out? A minute and 30, a minute and 30 seconds, those tanks can go anywhere. He's picking the UDES to maybe go down there so he can get a shot on whoever comes to try and reset the, the cap. As well as 3,000 hit points of damage, he's already picked up three kills. Apart from the dead STI, that's more kills than anyone else has got on his side. The STV-1 on the enemy side looks like he's having a pretty good game with four kills. As it goes down to the one minute mark for the cap timer. 13 11s the score. And they're waiting for these two tanks to make their move. Now hopefully that Udi's gets stuck into the T-49. T-49's gone for the derp and he's fired. Plays for one. Puts some damage into the tier 8. Light tank, and there's the STB-1, who's on pretty low health, but plays for fun, focusing down the T-49. Takes him out of the game, he's got four shells left, that should be enough to kill the STB-1, who's only on 108 health, and there he goes. Picks up kill number five, and absolutely carries the win on Westfield. As we have another very quick look at the post-game battle results, it's an ace tanker mastery badge, which is no surprise. Bruiser, duelist, fighter, fire for effect, the kamikaze, for killing that French artillery piece with the ram and not a bad game at all from plays for fun from Empire Clan 3568 hit points for damage the only person who did more damage than him was the artillery who had a really good game 
And he also picked up a little bit of spotting damage. And he fired 32 shots, 27 hit, 25 went through. And that was enough for an ace tank and mastery badge from Place for Fun from Empire Clan in the M41 Walker Bulldog. Thanks very much for the replays, fellas. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.